Hi there, I'm Suad. Today, let's talk about the contribution of adiprogenic DKK1 loss in preventing bone marrow adipose tissue in obesity and limiting bone loss. To complicate it? Okay, so let's break this down. Western-style diets with high amounts of fat and low physical activity lead to obesity, which increases the risk of bone fractures due to increased bone resorption and suppressed bone formation. In fact, fat accumulates in the bones, which weakens the bones. At the cellular level, adipocytes make up the fat tissue and osteoblasts build bone. So what is the connection between adipocytes and osteoblasts? Both cell types are derived from a common stem cell called MSCs or mesenchymal stem cell. If you eat fast food every day and do not exercise, MSCs will rather turn into adipocytes and osteoblasts, leading to a lot of fat tissue that little bone formation. One of the key regulators that defines MSC's differentiation into adipocytes or osteoblasts is WIM signaling. DKK1 is a potent inhibitor of WIM signaling and thereby promotes adipogenesis and blocks osteogenesis. In addition, the expression of DKK1 is increased in obesity and diabetes. We wondered if we could halt obesity-induced bone loss by blocking DKK1 expression in osteoblasts and adipocytes. Our previous study showed that removing DKK1 from osteoblasts limits obesity-induced bone loss by suppressing bone resorption. Now, what about DKK1 from adipocytes? In a mouse model, we used the Crelox B system to inhibit DKK1 from adipocytes. The good news is that we observed a reduction in bone fat accumulation in mice with high fat diet. Additionally, these mice showed an improvement in bone mass during half a diet compared to control mice. Thus, the expansion of bone marrow fat during obesity may contribute to bone loss via the production of DKK1. If you want to learn more about my research, join us at the ECTS in Helsinki on the 6th of May.